What's going on everybody? Today in this video, I'm going to be starting to take apart my truck. It is a 2005 Nissan Titan. So some rats ate my wiring. And that's one of the problems. But my main problem is I just want to restore this thing back to good condition. It is in pretty good condition, but it's been in a lot of accidents. It has some faded clear coat. And I just need to overall give it a facelift. So the first thing I'm going to get in order is get this bed off. This is my biggest thing right now is getting is getting this off. So what I'm going to do is take the tail lights off first and then I'm going to take the tailgate off. And I think I have to take my fuel filler neck tube off. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. I'll probably take this cover off too just to reduce some weight. Maybe this door too if it comes off. I'll have to figure that out. But the first thing I'm going to start doing is get these. Oh, I hope I brought that socket. Yeah, I think these are tins. This is for the tail light. So it looks like they're just two bolts here. I need to go find a magnetic bin for these bolts, but I'm not too worried about it now. Let's see. I don't know. Oh, there it goes. It was clipped in. Okay, I'm going to put that back in place momentarily. I'm going to get a tray. That way I can organize these bolts and not lose them. Put those there. That's for the tail light itself. So I need to go ahead and unplug the connectors. Ooh, that's so dirty. I'm going to do redo a lot of the wiring on this truck. And I'm going to take everything out to verify everything's good and not chewed up. So I'll probably get new wire loom as well. I'm going to get a picture of this. Always get reference pictures when you're restoring something or taking something apart. It's always a good idea. I think one of these bulbs is dead. I'm going to guess it was that one. That one too. <laughs> I'm going to set these aside. I'm probably going to sell these and get new ones. So. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get this passenger side tail light out. Just two 10 millimeter bolts. Bring my tray over here. And it should be like the other one and just slide out. They sit, oh, wow, this one came with it. They sit on these little rivet clips. So it's good to go. I might try to find a pack of these on eBay or Amazon rather uh, and replace them when I put these in. Okay, so I got this piece out. Okay, so I got this light out. It actually looks burnt. Yeah, that's burnt inside of there. So I'm gonna go put these up in storage and then I'll go ahead and start working on this tailgate, which I'm pretty sure is very heavy. I need to get these cables. Oh, I think I have this socket. Hopefully it's a 12, because that's what I picked out. Okay, good. This one's already loose a little bit or bent. What I'll do is just put that bolt back in. Yeah, it has bent a little bit. I'll just screw this back in that way I'll know where to put it and I don't have to keep up with it that shouldn't fall out so go ahead and do it for this side too take this out don't lose the washer put the washer back on and we'll just reinstall it that way we don't have to keep up with it that ain't going nowhere okay that just slides up and over. And I wanna think that this slides out. Here we go. Oh, one man did. Uh. Hey buddy. Once we get his car put back together, I'll be sewer my parts under here for now. Heck yeah. It's so weird seeing it without a tailgate. I just now remembered, I'm gonna go and put these bolts back into the tail lights. So I'll screw these into the tail light assemblies themselves. That way I don't have to have a separate bag to keep these, to keep up with, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go ahead and take off this gas filler cover. Looks like it's just two Phillip head screws. The screwdriver fits in there nice. Okay. I'm gonna take the screws out. I'm gonna carefully set this on the ground. 
and I'm gonna put these screws right back where they were so I don't have to keep up with them. So I'm gonna go put this in a box and store it away. Okay, so I got my Titan parked under the carport. I'm gonna take off my filler tube neck and that should just be a hose clamp. So I'm gonna take that off. It's behind the gas cap. So I'm gonna get that off so I can prepare to take the bed off. I'll also have to take the rear bumper off as well. Farewell, Mazda 3, jamming away. Okay, so up here there's a bracket right above the gas filler tube, so I'm going to take that off. It's a 10 millimeter, and then this is your first bed bolt up here. Your second one is right behind it, essentially, and the last one is in the back corner over there, and it's the same on both sides, essentially. There's two right next to each other here. Okay, I'm going to re-show the bed bolt locations. So I'm at the front of the bed here, where it meets the cab, and the first one is right there now the second one is right there right above the leaf spring bracket the front leaf spring bracket anyway okay the last one is in this rear corner right there right at the end of the bed and it's up and it's pretty much the same on the other side on the passenger side you got your mount right there And you got one right there above the front leaf spring bracket, and then one more right there. So those are pretty easy to get out. Those are 14 millimeter bolts, I believe. So nothing fancy there. Just spray PB Blaster on them or WD-40 a day or two before. Let them soak, and then do it the same day. You take them off, and it'll make it go by a little bit easier, or it should at least, unless you live in rusty areas but i don't so mine came off with no problem so that's three on each side make sure you don't leave or lose your bushings because if you don't put those back when you put the bed on then you'll have a lot more noise and probably vibration and i get my bolt for the fuel filler neck bracket so i don't want to lose that either and all my lug nuts all right i got scooted back a little bit now I'm just going to go back and double check that I got everything undone and make sure there's no more connectors I need to unplug. Okay, so I took off this plastic piece on the bed so I could get to this filler tube neck and get that uh, hose off. So all I did was I took the screw out here. I took the screw out down here on the bottom. And there was a plastic clip that mounts right there in that hole and, and then you just pull it out from over here and it'll come out very easily with just those two screws and that clip so now i'm going to get this hose off and i can put my bolt back in this bracket okay so i see a breather in here that goes to the bed i believe that's part of the bed yeah it is so i'm going to unplug that oh it ain't too muddy where i can't pull it Ah, 
Okay, that's off. Get everything off. I had to take this line off right here. This plugged into here. All you do is squeeze these parts and pull. So that's done. I'm getting so close. I'm trying to get this thing off as much as possible by myself. I can't be any closer. <laughs> I've done this by myself. Without damaging any without damaging anything. That's the crazy thing. I've done this so far without damaging anything. Now can I get it all off without damaging anything? I guess we're gonna find out. I pretty much jacked it up and put some two by fours under the rails. That way I didn't get caught because these end up below these brackets. So you have to lift up and pull back. But I got those on some two by fours, so that's helping a ton. Now I'm just sliding it back. I think I got it clear on both sides. Also take your wheels off if you want more room. Just being honest. Also, don't do this by yourself. Um, it hurts, it's heavy, and I'm an idiot and I like challenging myself, so I wouldn't recommend doing this yourself, but I'm literally almost there and I'm not gonna give up. daylight here but I've gotten three quarters of it off my hands just cannot take the lift anymore I'm get all my my whole hand is gonna be a blister if I keep doing it you can see right there it's, that's eating in my skin pretty bad and this thing is not easy to lift by yourself and every little thing every mount got my way it kind of sucks but it's almost off and it's almost over with okay so I'm gonna put this passenger side rear wheel on uh, with the wheel spacer that way this thing doesn't have to sit on jack stands I already got the bed off so which I did by myself obviously this is like two days later I had to recover from that I was pretty sore that day this thing will start even with the filler neck uninstalled guys that's pretty much it for the bed removal next thing I have to do 
is get it ready to put in the garage and make space in the garage. I'm probably gonna do the engine stuff first, engine drivetrain first, that way it's rideable and drivable nicely. And then I'll do the cosmetics. So it's really, maintenance is what I'm gonna be doing right now. And then I got some awesome surprises for this thing. I have a lot of plans, so stay tuned for the whole build.